Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this uh, lesson we're going to break apart three-digit add-ins. So three-digit numbers, we're going to break them apart and add them together. So here's our common core strand for our, our most awesome teachers, and our question here is how do we break apart add-ins to add the hundreds, the tens, and then the ones, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and write the number, draw a quick picture for the number. Okay, so we're going to write the number that they want us to right here. We're going to draw a quick picture for that number right here. And then we're going to write the number in different ways. How many hundreds, how many tens, how many ones, and then we're going to write it with um, uh, hundreds, tens, and ones right there, okay? All right, so this one says write 258 in the blank left corner. Draw a quick picture for this number, then complete the other two forms of the number. Okay, so 258. Okay, so remember how we did um, uh, our tens blocks? Um, so the 200s, we did squares for that, the flats, the two, the 100 flats right there. So I'm just going to draw a square. There's 100, there's 200. And then, uh, so there's 200 for these two right here. This says there's five tens, so let's go ahead and do five tens. There's one ten, two three, four, and remember, we cross it over. It's easier to recognize that's five when we do that. There's five tens. Okay, and then let's do the ones. The ones are the, the, the little unit circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now usually we stop at five and then just do six, seven, eight right next to that. Okay, so this these two squares represent two hundreds, so we're going to write two hundreds right there. Okay, and then this represents five tens, so we'll write five right there, five tens, and then eight ones is, is those eight little dots right there. So 200 is the two zero zero, five tens is five with the zero, and then eight ones, and so there, there's our, our answer that they want us to do. So 200 plus 50 plus 8 is the same as 258, okay? We're going to go backwards a little bit later on in this lesson, and we're going to change this 258 to represent this right here. Here's 200, here's 50, here's 8, and so when we add those together, we get 258. Okay, this one says write 325 on the blank and then do the same. So here's 325, okay, so here's three 100s. Here's two tens for this two right there, and then five ones right there. Okay, so there's our 300, these three squares right there. Here's our two tens, so we'll highlight those in red. And then our five ones right there, okay? And then remember, 300 is three with is three zero zero. Okay, and then so there's our 300. Two tens is two with the one zero, so two tens and then five ones, okay? All right. So what number can be written as 400 plus 20 plus 9? Okay, well, let's go backwards. That would be 429. Okay, so 400 to, 429 is 400 plus 20 plus 9. Okay, so let's break apart the add-ins into hundreds, tens, and ones. Add the hundreds, the tens, and then the ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the hundreds first. So here we have 500 and 200. So I'm going to write 500 and 200 right there. Okay, let's do the tens next. So I'll highlight this in red. There's three tens and one ten. So three zero and one zero for the tens right there. Okay, and then there's eight ones and six ones right there. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add these hundreds. So 500 plus 200 is 700 right there. Okay, now we'll add the tens. 30 plus 10 gets us 40 right there. All right, now this one was a little tricky. We've got to do a little carry at the very end. So 8 plus 6, I'm going to use my fingers, you guys. So 8, and I'm using my fingers, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have six fingers up, okay? Don't be afraid to use your fingers. I have... Many of my high school students still do that, and I encourage them to do that, because I do that too. Okay, and then so now we're going to add the 700 plus 40 plus 14. Now be careful, this 14 has a, an additional 10 in it because it's 1, 4. There's only four ones, but there's an additional 10. So I'm going to put this additional 10 with this 40 and make it 50. So it's going to be 754 because of that additional 1 right there, okay? All right, so let's break apart the add-ins to find the sum. So here's the first one. We just did this. Okay, so here's our hundreds. We have 300 and 400 gives us 700. Our tens, we have two tens and five tens 
gets us 7 tens, or 20 plus 50 equals 70. And then the ones is 1 plus 7 is 8. And then we're going to add these numbers here. 700 plus 70 plus 8 is there's no carry on this, so 778. And your teacher will tell you more about what's carrying when that happens. In fact, let's do that with this one. We're going to have one carry on this, okay? So 200 and 500 gets us 700. Five tens and three tens gets us 50 plus 30, which is 80. Four ones and six ones gets us 10. Okay, so six plus four equals 10. Now there's zero ones here and one ten. We're going to add this with the eight tens right here, make it nine tens. So it's going to be 790 when we do that. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. And if your parents let you, if you could, uh, click like on this video. Thanks. Take care.